I can't really sugarcoat this. I wish I could because I did mess around with this deck for quite some time and I like the character design a lot. But Prisha is horrible. She has absolutely no redeeming features or potential. She allows you to pay for four Sacred Beasts with will of any attribute. Sacred Beasts would actually be a deck that appeared quite a bit at high level tournaments, just never with Precia. While Color Fixing is an incredibly strong ability, by the time four Sacred Beasts became a thing, the format had a five color stone that was effectively conditionless, Ruler's Memoria. Precia's effect doesn't really do anything and other rulers, specifically two from the next set, are just plain better. She can also pay two win to give a beast or four sacred beast plus 100 plus 100 till end of turn. No redeeming that. Even with the fact it's on a permanent, rapid growth is four times that. No restriction for just wind and it has remnant. Prisha is a complete wash on her ruler side. Her J ruler isn't much better. When she flips for two win, she becomes an 800 800 and gains effects depending on your resonators. If you have a light, she gains target attack. If you control a fire, she gains swiftness. Flying, if you control a water resonator, and she gains plus 200 plus 200 if you control a wind resonator. The implication here is to use the four sacred beasts. There are one of each, but keeping them on board just isn't practical. It says so very much that by the very next set, they print a Precia Resonator for Wind Wind 1 that you can pay Wind for her to become all attributes. Just have Precia's J Ruler complete with one card and an upkeep of one Wind Will. Precia's God's Art, Summon of the Sacred Beasts, is meant to be support for her first ability, but it's a total of 7 Will if you need to replace the entire board with 4 Sacred Beasts. Its base cost is 3 Wind Will. Then an additional void for each Sacred Beast with a different name you want to search your deck for, then put on the field. 7 for a plus 4 is not bad in the slightest in terms of cost to card ratio, especially to the board. But if that's all she's got going for her, it's not enough and it's rather expensive. There is also the fact that Huang Long, leader of the 4 Sacred Beasts, can essentially do this on a body if you pay one of each attribute of the four sacred beasts in its void cost and buffs them. Huang Long effectively replaces Precia. Since I'm covering Regalia, I should cover Precia's Horn of the Sacred Beasts. It's a ramp for the void cost of four sacred beasts, which isn't terrible since only one of them has an attribute cost of more than one will. This can get three of them down to one attribute will fairly easily. It can also be tapped to give Precia plus 200 plus 200 and Imperishable, which considering how combat centric she can be, it's pretty good for her. Like the first effect, it doesn't make a good, but it's an improvement. Finally, it can shuffle your grave into your deck, which was better elsewhere and enough to get this card banned in Wanderer. Precia is bad. There is no way of getting around it. Fun, sure. But horribly overcosted, and thanks to other cards printed, she doesn't even add anything to her own theme. She doesn't even have potential either. She's just bad. I think I'm going to be a bit generous here, but I'll put her above Melgis. I do think she has more going for her than him. Fun theme deck is at least something.